Before we delve into all the synthesis aspects of Animoxy, let's create a default patch. Now, we do have a default patch here in this preset browser, one called default. But it's not as clean as you would expect from a default patch, as you can hear. And if you head over to the effects tab, you can see some of these effects are active. So let's create our own default patch, starting with a more complex patch, like maybe this dark hallways. As you can see here, a lot going on. So let's reset everything back to default. And this could also be a quick way to discover all the different features on the synthesizer. All right, so in this orbs page, first thing I wanna do is to disable the path. So I can tap edit here. And as long as we're in this array section, just hit clear. And we've completely cleared out the pathway. I can still move that orb around. Well, not in the erase tab, if I get out of arrays, you can see here I can move the orb around but it's not moving, it's sitting static. Now how about that orbit? A lot going on in there. So there's an X amount, Y amount, and Z amount. Looks like the Z amount is not active, it's in the center, zero. This is a bipolar control, so let's set the Y to zero, and the X to zero as well. All right, so that's good. I think we're all set here on the orbs page. Let's head over to the timbers page. Now, thankfully, all the timbers are set to the static fat saw one. And that's great. We have eight of these wavetable slots, and they all are using this one pretty default wavetable. Let's have a quick listen to this. Yeah, that's a good starting point. So let's leave that. Moving on to the envelope slash LFO section. Let's reset the amp envelope. I'll get rid of that attack all the way down to zero. Sustain full and release all the way down to zero. DK doesn't matter anymore, but let's just set it to zero. I'll do the same for all these other envelopes here. So as you can see, there are three total envelopes and everything is reset back to default. Getting there, still some movement. LFO, let's turn off this keyboard trigger. I'll bring the rate all the way down to the lowest for all three LFOs. All right, that looks good. Let's head over to the mod tab. So we have 10 of these modulation slots. So let's disable everything. So here, source is set to off, that's good. Control, set that to off. And destination, let's set that to off. And I guess we could just turn off the entire thing by disabling this enable thing here. I'm gonna set this to off as well. All right, this might take some time, but I'm gonna go ahead and disable everything here. I'm also gonna reset the amount knob to the center or the zero position. All right, so I have reset all the modulation assignments. We're done with the mod tab. Let's head over to the effects tab. So we have five different effects over here. The arpeggiator is already off. So let's make sure to leave that as off. Filter, let's turn that off. Thick, let's disable this thick module. And lastly, let's disable the delay module. Much cleaner, the looper is already off. All right, looks like that's pretty much it. I guess we could reset the scale option here as well. So let's switch over to a chromatic scale and let's set the root node to a C. We have a little bit of glide enabled. Let's get rid of that as well. And there we go. This should be a good starting point for designing or understanding how the synthesizer works. All right, let's save this. I'll change the name, put my initials here and call it default.